What's up everyone? Put your device into DFU mode by holding down the power and home button for about 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds are up, you will release the power button while still holding on to the home button. This is a tethered jailbreak for iOS 5.1 and it only works on iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPad 1, and once you've done holding down the home button, you can release and head over to the latest version of Red Snow and go down to properties and select compatibility and change it to Windows XP and hit apply. Once you've done that, you will go back to it and right click and run as an administrator. Once you've done this, it will start running, it'll exploit with Lime Rain, and then also it will start patching the kernel. This won't take very long. And once this has been done, you will have an option install Cydia, which you will want checkmarked, and if you are doing this on an iPad, mark the uh, multitasking gestures and then heading over to the iPad it'll look like this and then it'll run code and then you will get a pop-up on your computer uh, telling you that this is a tethered jailbreak right here and disregard this you can just select OK now we'll head back to the iPad and this code will run for quite a while so I'll speed it up and I'll cut through the majority of this now we're back and then it's going to run through its file system this shouldn't take very long once the file system has been done your device will reboot once rebooted you will slide to unlock and then you will see a white Cydia icon on your last page so now we will head back to uh, putting your device into DFU mode holding down the power and home button for 10 seconds and then once the 10 seconds are up you will release the power button while still holding the home for another 10 15 seconds. Once that is done, head back over to your computer and then right click on Red Snow and run as an administrator again and then head over to Extras and select Just, just Boot. This will boot your device tethered. You'll see a Pwnapple logo and then once you're up and running you can head over to Cydia again it still might be a white logo which is fine but it it runs it'll prepare the file system and then reload Cydia and once that is done your device will respring once it has resprung you can head back into your device head over to Cydia and Cydia is running properly on iOS 5.1. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button above, hit the like button down below, share this with your family and friends. Remember, this is a tethered jailbreak, and 5.1 untethered is being worked on. Here's some confirmation that this is running 5.1. Zoom in here. And there you go, 5.1. So again, hit the subscribe button above, and thank you so much for watching. God bless.